Hello, my name is Todd Sweetser. I'm a partner technology strategist on the TS2 team here at Microsoft. This is another video in the Azure in 5 Minutes series. This one will focus on how you, as a partner, can either enter yourself or show a customer how to set up partner of record in an Azure subscription to ensure that you're getting proper credit where credit is due. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll do is go to azure.microsoft.com uh, and sign in to the customer's account. This, of course, could also be your account if you are working on behalf of the customer, depending on how you've actually structured it. On the top of the screen, you'll see an item, My Account. Click on that, and this will take you to this screen. You'll see there's two actual types of portals. There's the Management Portal, and then the Usage and Billing Portal. The POR, Partner of Record, is actually set in the Usage and Billing Portal. Uh, so you could actually click here and get right to the particular portal where you would actually set partner of record. For demonstration purposes, I'm actually going to go ahead and click on the management portal and show how you can get to the usage and billing portal from the management portal as well. Let's do that. So first you'll need to log in. And once you are logged into the management portal, Go up to the subscriptions item on the top. This is where you can filter by all your subscriptions, as well as manage administrators and, and, uh, and your account. We're going to go ahead and go into manage your account. So here is a list of, a, of subscriptions underneath this particular tenant, customer one and customer two. I'm going to go ahead and click customer one. And here you will see your summary for this particular customer. Note that you can set the partner of record for all of your subscriptions individually underneath a single tenant. I can go in here now and click on partner information to actually set the partner of record. Now this is where you would actually enter your MPN ID to set as partner of record. I'm going to go ahead and use a, a dummy ID uh, for demonstration purposes. But as you'll see, this is very similar to the Office 365 workflow for setting partner of record. Uh, uh, so a customer can do this, uh, or you can do it on their behalf, assuming you have admin access into their account or working alongside them. Once you set this and click the checkbox, that's all there is to it. At this point, you are set as partner of record for this particular tenant and this particular subscription within the tenant. One thing I'd like to note out is that this functionality is being rolled out gradually, and you may not see it in older Azure tenants yet, uh, but it will be populating in them uh, as we go forward. Now, what does this mean for you as a partner? Today, we're in phase one. It's merely connecting you with the tenant and allowing proper communication from Microsoft to flow to both the customer and you as a partner for that subscription. Also note there are no changes involving incentives today. Over the next couple of months, we will communicate the details of phase two and how it will impact other capabilities, such as allowing your customers Azure consumption to count towards competencies, integrate those incentives, and provide better overall reporting on your MPN dashboard. One item I'd like to note uh, is that PSX is today is still the only method where eligible partners will register and get recognized for Azure incentives. This is more focused on the corporate accounts uh, and EPG space. Also, please stay tuned for further communication as all of these functionalities become available across the board. Well, thanks again for attending. I hope this information was helpful. Talk to you soon.